Now, your storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. We'll be looking for some clearing today. Maybe not full clearing everywhere, but we will be looking at decreasing cloud cover as we head toward the afternoon. Chilly again tonight. Most areas should be clear to partly cloudy by tonight. And a sunny start to the week as a storm system passes to our south and southeast. We end up with some decent weather around this area with a nice warm up. As we head through the next several days, looking at some pretty warm temperatures once again by the middle of the week. Clear sky or excuse me, cloudy sky right now at Emporia, as well as in Junction City, mostly cloudy for Manhattan, as well as in Topeka. The flurries that were showing up on radar earlier really aren't showing up as much anymore, so I may not get much of that at all. 32 degree temperature feels like 26 with that northerly wind at seven miles per hour. It's currently 30 at Junction City, 28 for Riley and Clay Center. Farther to the south and east, a little bit more lower 30s, 33 Linden, 32 at Burlington, as well as Emporia right now. And a light northerly wind, a little stronger to the south at 12 to 14 miles per hour from Topeka to Burlington and Emporia. And that's dropping the wind chill into the lower 20s south because it's already cooler lower 20s to the north. So in other words, it's chilly everywhere with a little, little bit of a bite to that light wind blowing through. Nothing brutally cold, but chilly with a north wind around today and the cloud cover will be a cool day. We should recover most areas into the upper 40s, maybe a few spots hitting 50, especially north with more sunshine and then a very light wind and a clear sky as we head into tonight. So here's how things are shaping up right now. It's clear to our north across Nebraska. Cloudy to the south had this little area of snow that was forming over southwestern Kansas come up our way, but as it did, it encountered some dry air and essentially all of the precipitation fizzled out. The main system is to the south over the Texas Panhandle, North Texas and Western Oklahoma right now. That system will sl start sliding more eastward and will pass to our south. And so we actually should see some clearing. Whether or not we fully clear by noon, some of our northern counties will. I think we'll hold on to cloud cover central and south into the afternoon and then start to see it thin out a little bit. The storm system though, Kind of gets going more to our south tonight into the morning tomorrow, so travel southward may be a little problematic then, but not for us. We're looking at clear conditions into the day tomorrow, maybe a couple of passing clouds into early Tuesday, and then we're right back to some more sunshine for Tuesday as well, and the temperature trend will be upward over the next couple of days. So again, what we're looking at over the next few hours, temperatures into the 30s, maybe some uh, mid 40s though by midday on into the afternoon, partly to mostly cloudy weather. It's going to be overall a fairly mild uh, afternoon after the chilly start to the morning. And then as we look ahead, 55 degrees for the daytime tomorrow, 59 as we head into Tuesday and could even be up to 60 degrees by Wednesday. We've really had a long stretch of nice middles of the week and that trend will continue, but it also means that we keep getting these chillier weekends and that trend will also continue. It looks like maybe chance for some rain or snow by Friday as the system passes through dropping a cold front in. We're back into the 